What's good, YouTube, and welcome back. Right now, we are looking at a phenomenal Pikachu artwork that started the whole Sword and Shield era. So what I want to do today is go ahead and take a look at some Pikachu promos. We are going to compare the one that came out for Sword and Shield and also the Scarlet and Violet one that just came out and talk about if it's a good pickup. I pride myself in buying Japanese cards. I talk about them a lot. I collect them a lot. I buy from the Japanese market. They have beautiful texture, artwork, quality, all of the above. They tend to grade better with different grading companies. And I really love Japanese cards. A lot of them do not bleed over to the American market, which makes them more rare. It makes them more desirable. Some of them do. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Also, to wrap up this video, we will briefly touch on V-Star Universe, the hot, spicy, zesty set, which just came out in Japan. And a lot of people are FOMOing over right now, buying boxes for like $100 plus or V-Star Universe, and there's a lot of beautiful cards inside of that set, but we're also going to touch on that, touch on the market, because that's what I do, so let me go ahead and give you all this information. So first and foremost, right, we have Japanese Pikachu 001 SP promo. This one did come out in the Japanese market. It also came out in the American market, um, both sides, right? I believe that you can also find this in another country. I believe it's Thailand or the Philippines. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually gave these out at KFC as well, which is pretty funny because it has a KFC stamp on this card. So that one's pretty cool as well. If you can find it, I did find it while I was perusing eBay. Pretty cool card. But right here, this card just sold on November 20th for 14 bids at $122.19. That is the raw low price value, right? So right here was $123 on November 14th. And if you want to look at one um, that's graded a PSA 10, you're looking right around $217 to $224. Now, this is the full art Pikachu that started the Sword and Shield era, the one that we love, right, which is wrapping up right now as we move into Scarlet and Violet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this card. And we're also going to talk about if you're on a budget, right, is the next one for you, the, the current promo that a lot of people may have not seen. So this was a beautiful looking artwork. And of course, you have all of these starters, which typically that's what you're going to have with these Pikachu promos because the Scarlet and Violet one is the same way. You're going to have a lot of the starters. And this was a very stunning looking artwork. I love this right here. And this card is going up in value. So when these cards first come out, they do not cost a lot of money. It's probably between 10 to $15. And you can see they went up quite a bit in value. Now, this one right here is a 2019, so it's roughly three years old. And this card is already selling for over $200, which is really good money for this card. So if you like this card, it is getting a little bit pricey. I'm sure you can find it raw for a good deal, or you can look for it on Buy E or Tenzo or another different place, maybe Yuyute. I know I'm giving away some of the secret stuff people don't want to give away, but yes, Yuyute is another Japanese store which you can buy through proxy, through buy E, and you can buy a lot of great single cards from an actual card store out of Japan. So let's go ahead and move over to the Scarlet and Violet promo. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and compare the two. Please drop a comment and let me know which one you like more. I really love both of these. Um, I have one somewhere around here, but I actually have this one right here, the Sword and Shield pre-order card, and I plan on picking up some of the Scarlet and Violet because if that one does anything Similar to what this one did, it's going to be a great pickup, especially at the price point that you see them for right now. So this card is currently selling December 7th for $16, seven bids, one sold for 21. Now I did look on the buy e market, they are a lot cheaper. Um, I would say roughly 11 to $12, but you can get a bundle of them for like $50, $55 for maybe five of them, which is a really good deal. But once you pay all of your you know, import fees, depending on what you spend, your shipping um, and all that stuff, you're probably gonna go ahead and spend the same amount that you would spend on eBay. So it's hard to save, it's a better deal straight from Japan. But for $16, you really cannot beat this card right here. Now, this is the card that's opening up the Scarlet and Violet era. And we're going to go ahead and take a close look at it right now. So you can see the artwork if you actually haven't seen this card yet. It is a beautiful and stunning card. So if you bought the video game from Japan, the Scarlet and Violet video game, you would get this promo for free. So you see a lot of people with a ton of these promos right now. And honestly, I think it's the time to pick them up, right? They have came down just a little bit and you have all of your starters right here for Scarlet and Violet. 
And honestly, let's go ahead and take a look at the other one again real quick. You have this one right here. And bam, we'll go ahead and jump back over and look at the one we was just looking at. And let me know which one you like more. I think these colors pop a little bit more. It's a little bit brighter. I love the red, the blue, the green, and the cloudy background. It is a beautiful stunning card. And honestly, I think the artwork actually looks better for this card. So that kind of tells me this one might go up more value in the future, or it may not, right? But I definitely know one thing, I can almost be certain that it's going to be more than 16 to $20 in the future. And please take it out of the plastic wrap. A lot of people think if you buy these promos from Japan, it's going to protect them. It does not. Please take it out of that plastic wrap. You really can't see what the cards look like through that wrap and the condition is kind of hard to tell. So to protect your card, take it out of this and put it inside of a top loader and a penny sleeve and you are good to go. You are A1. So that wraps up that right there. I do think this is a good buy. It's a beautiful, stunning card. It's cheap. And if you're a budget spender, this card is for you. So let's go ahead and move over very quickly to V-Star Universe. So I am on PoCollector.com. And of course, if you've ever been on here, you can look up English and Japanese, new sets, old sets, and all of the above. They have an app. And pretty much as you scroll down, you're going from your common cards, your Vs, your V-Stars. And then once you get to the bottom, you're going to start to see a lot of the very more rare and more expensive cards right here. So you have your different V-Stars, you're gonna have your art rares, and you're also gonna have your cards down here. If your RC is V-Star, your Giratina, Origin Form, Dialga, V-Star, and your Origin Form, Palkia, V-Star. And there is a ton of stunning cards in V-Star universe. I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm pretty sure you've seen a bunch of leaks. And if you've seen the cards, they are very, very beautiful. And a lot of them are very expensive. They are also printing this set into the ground. So just like VMAX Climax, a lot of people is FOMOing over VMAX Climax boxes. And they went down by a lot. Those boxes are very cheap right now. And I think it's going to be the same situation for these right here. Because they are printing this into oblivion. And I think it's just a big bang as they wrap up you know, the sword and shield era for a lot of these cards. And they're putting all of these different arts in here, these full arts and these beautiful, stunning cards. And it's going to be easy to pull a lot of these because there's so many of them in there. You also have your art rare set, which is stunning. Let me go ahead and show that to y'all really quickly. So you have these nine cards, your AR set, which make up this art rare set. And that's something that Pokemon is doing right now. And if we take a close up look at it, a lot of people actually don't notice this, but these nine cards make up one photo. So look at these cards very hard and you'll start to see they make up one giant picture. But if you see these cards as a set, especially this Pikachu, this is the banger right here, right? It looks like another promo card that you typically see for Pikachus. This art rare set is going for a lot of money. I was looking on buy E and people are asking like 180 to like $270 right now for this nine card set. And I would definitely say it's going to come down. If I were to grab anything from this, it would definitely be that Pikachu right there. Beautiful, stunning card. All of them are, and they look really nice together. Now, going back to the V-Star Universe list, I also love all of these cards right here. You have the dogs right here. So the Entei also looks very cool. A lot of these cards you can buy really cheap right now for a couple of dollars. This one is actually not very expensive. A lot of people is also into the semi seer. I love this one right here. This V-Star is really cool. A different type of artwork. I love the Suicune. And shockingly, one of my favorite artworks in this set right now is actually the Luminion. But the Luminion is a beautiful looking card. And it looks really, really cool. You also have your Raikou, another stunning artwork, really cool, badass. And you have your Mewtwo V-Star, which is basically Mewtwo's point of view battling Charizard. So that is a really cool card as well. And the last ones I would like to show all of you is the ones at the bottom. Let me go ahead and try to pull this back up because I got to go back to the main set real quick. And as we scroll to the bottom, these ones right here are actually very, very pricey and expensive. And I've been looking for these on Buy E. Now, the artwork kind of looks the same, but they are stunning looking cards between the four of them. So you have the Arceus V-Star. I mean, look at this card, right? Look at this card, a very awesome looking secret rare, a really cool looking card. And let's go ahead and go back. We're going to take a quick look 
at the Giratina. So this is what the Giratina looks like. And then moving over to the Palkia and the Dialga. So let's go ahead and get to that real quick. So this is the origin form Dialga right here. These cards, you can't see the hollow foil on this picture, but I'm telling you, like in person and looking at some of the photos and videos I've seen, these cards are phenomenal. So moving back down, you have this one right here, the Palkia. They all look amazing. So anything from this set, I definitely think I want to get those four. A lot of people are liking the Radiant Charizard, of course, but I think Charizard is a little bit played out right now, and they're making a ton of different Charizards. It also went down in value. A lot of people don't seem to be too hyped about that right now. So if I were to buy some cards from this set, honestly, I want the Art Rare set, specifically the Pikachu, because I'm a Pikachu fan. I also like the Galarian Moltres. That's pretty cool. And as we scroll down, like I said, I want the semi Seer, I want the Dogs, I want the Suicune, I want the Entei, the Raikou, I want the Mewtwo point of view battling Charizard, and then moving down to the four hot cards down here, I also want these V-Stars, the Arceus, Giratina, the Dialga, and the Palkia. So drop a comment, let me know if you've been cracking these boxes, if you like these cards, are you into it, are you very excited, who out there is excited for Scarlet and Violet, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I'll be back with another video very soon, and I'll see y'all later, have a blessed day, out.